Right, hello, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for clicking on this video, by the way. I appreciate it. But before we get into this video, I'll take a moment to announce a giveaway. That's right, the items aren't in yet, but I'm tired of making uh, one minute segments in every video explaining the giveaway. So today I'll just announce the winners. Let's spin the wheel. Right, so the two winners of my merch giveaway are my friend Kaistin and also Niels. I'll contact you on how to get your merch. Now guys, if you're mad or sad that you actually didn't get this giveaway, don't bother. You can let me know down in the comments if you actually want some and maybe I'll consider like actually selling them. I'll make a website and all that stuff and maybe I'll even make some t-shirts like my own. But yeah, let's just get on with the video. Right, so this video is actually dedicated to one of my favorite bands. So a few days ago there was a live stream on Facebook with a, a few Belgian artists and it was like a quarantine party. Um, so it was like a celebration of listening to Belgian music. So it was like all these Belgian artists I uh, don't actually know if they'll do like a follow-up with some more artists, I don't know. One of my favorite group or an artists actually went on there. And to be honest, they did an amazing job. Uh, <laughs> I really enjoyed it. And there was this thing where you could take a selfie with the artist. So you actually just took your computer or if you streamed on TV, we actually did it on TV. So you could actually take a picture with the artists. And I did that. Uh, here are the pictures, they're, they're pretty awesome. And so what I did was then I just posted it on Instagram because of my friends actually know this group as well. And just see, well, hey, look, uh, I took a selfie, I listened to it. They actually posted it on their story and they liked my story. So I posted it again and was like, hey, hey guys, look, uh, this group that I adore actually reposted my story. And then they commented to my story. Now, uh, a few things that you should know because um, a few friends actually commented on my uh, story saying like, who are these guys? So that's what this video is for. They're called Gestapo Knallmusik and they're a Belgian band that sings in German. Yeah, they make these really funny songs, but despite of their lyrics, this, they're actually very good songs. There's a song about a blue bucket. Uh, now, before I get further into the video, this is poorly translated into English, so if you're Dutch, this will make more sense, or if you're German, but it's mostly Dutch people that listen to it. The lyrics are like, super funny, and the thing that makes it funny for like Belgian or Dutch people is because it will be like if you put something in Google Translate and it will just show the answer literally, and not like reword and so that it sounds decent saying it out loud it sounds really bad they also have a youtube channel with some video clips and i'd actually like to check them out like right now gestapo if you're watching this um i am going to use some of your clips and your music i hope that's okay um if it's not just let me know um i uh, you can just send me a private message or leave it in the comments and i'll do something about that please don't claim this video um, just for fun right I'm just um, trying to enlarge on your audience I uh, know it's uh, not much but uh, yeah I, I'm doing my best I'm the good guy in this scenario okay I'm, I'm trying to help you so yeah um, sit back relax and let's go with the video they actually have high quality video clips and one of them I was truly blown away by this it's uh, called Wingman Dunny We'll actually take a look but it just it was blown away by the actual effort put into it so let's uh, let's take a look I found it so no 
noch stets keinen Mick. Was geht sie doch verkehrt? Der ist noch keinen Klick. Ich fühle mich nicht mehr sicher und alles wird befaut. Ich sit fast in die Freundzone, wie hält mich der Raut? Oh, yeah. Wie was für Big Vögel, wie Busch mein Charisma, wie stoppt Chlamydia. This is like a video clip purely made out of CG. It's not the best, but the effort put into this. They didn't say if they actually went to someone else to do this, like a VFX artist or not. Besides being a good song, in my opinion, this is really a good video clip. You gotta know, they were all shot like in front of a blue or green screen, I think. Like, of course, I do not know the process behind this. But just the actual effort put into this really blows me away. Like you can tell it's not a real practical set. Of just all the elements. All the rotoscoping and all that stuff. All, all the different takes they had to do to get to this final product is really mind-boggling. Also the animation and all that stuff. It's like... They actually have high quality video clips. And also, like this one, this is called Claudia Swiffer. The song is about this guy that is like hung over from his birthday party uh, the day before. He doesn't want to clean it up himself, so he actually calls someone to do it. And that is what the song is about. Now, all right, we got noise complaints from the neighbors, guys. So we gotta keep it down for a little while. They actually rented a studio, I think, like, again, I do not know any of the processes behind these. If you haven't realized it by now, I tried to dress up in the theme of Gestapo. Like the dedication that goes into these video clips is amazing in my opinion. And that's what I adore about them. In an age where music is an industry and everything is made to be financially successful, you have these guys that make music just for fun. And that's what I adore about them. As you know or may not know, me and my best friend actually made also like a parody song. It's they're way out of our league, but it's it was kind of like for fun and we actually enjoyed it. And I think this is why I actually like them so much. I can see that they enjoy doing what they're doing and that they can be successful from doing that. I think like pat on the back because I think everyone wants to do what they love doing. I didn't do any background research on them um, just because I don't want to be like a stalker or anything like that. So I don't know uh, what they do besides this. Yeah, just the sheer dedication that goes into these videos. I'd just like to say if they ever see this video, I know this is a poorly constructed video. I um, had no idea what I was going to make until my parents said like, hey, you should make a video on them. And I was like, all right, yeah, sure, sure. So uh, I don't, I didn't have a script for this video, just like I made it up along the way. But still, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment if you actually want the merch, and I'll see you in another video. Also guys, I think it'd be really nice if um, I leave a link in the description and some of you just go there and like, like the video, watch a few of the things, maybe subscribe. And then uh, leave like a comment uh, that I sent you. So I think if I'll just send this link to them, they'll maybe watch it, hopefully. So guys, uh, if, you, if you are watching this, um, hello, big fan. <laughs>